You all wanted to learn new things about your fields. You all wanted to figure out, is graduate school the thing for you? And if so, what would it look like? How would it feel to be a graduate student with all these questions about how research happens, how it doesn't happen, how do I want to relate to my faculty mentor? What kind of faculty member do I want to be? What kind of supervisor do I want? What kinds of leadership do I need to bring out the best in me? And so hopefully you, you, you struggled a little bit this summer. Hopefully you struggled a little bit with those questions and you know a little bit more about yourself now than you did when you got here in May. I feel like I was able to learn a lot of things that are going to transfer into other parts of my life. I was able to learn how to work professionally in a lab, how to speak to professors and say, hey, I need help with this, and how to go to someone and work hands-on. I learned a lot more than I would learn in a classroom because everything is hands-on. I was in a lab nine to five for two straight months, and I would not have gotten that experience anywhere else. So I was able to see what the work environment is like, maybe what grad school would be like. So it kind of opened up a lot of doors to say, hey, this is what I might want to do for my future. We designed an augmented reality lamp that provides parents with contextual sign language and awareness of their child's attention to enhance communication. So the lamp during an interaction will detect what objects are in front of the parent and child and then um, which object the child is paying attention to and then give the parent the corresponding ASL video for that object. This was a really positive experience. I, I worked on a product that was really meaningful to the group. I contributed in a meaningful way and, and they expressed that to me and that was um, very gratifying. And one of the big questions I had coming into the summer was is if I want to do a PhD myself, do I like the research environment and am I cut out for it? And I am definitely walking away feeling like, yes, I would like to do a PhD. Would human beings exist without the flow of ocean currents? This is a question we've been having at the Mechanical Engineering Lab this summer. And I have been working under the able mentorship of Professor Hussein Aloui and um, Dr. Ben Sora. Okay, ready guys?